We are back at it with some more sledders, and there is a massive update to this game. First and foremost, look at this view, man. Look at this view. This is insane. Look at that mountain. You can go to all the way to the top of this mountain in front of me. That's just nuts. This mountain is huge. But if you guys enjoy some sledders, make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button. This update is insane. It's the first major update of Sledder since it's been on Steam. And there's a lot of changes. Uh, you can see the change log, some minor fixes as well. Uh, but first and foremost, what's new? So trails are officially in Sledders. This addition required us to develop an entirely new physics model tailored for trail riding. Riding on hard packed snow trails is different compared to plowing through deep snow i mean that kind of makes more sense you know what i mean i haven't really dove into the physics per se uh, i saw a lot of people in the discord wasn't too happy with it let me know in the comments below what you guys think about it uh roads have officially come uh so that's pretty interesting there's new sleds on the block we're expanding our garage the ui for the sleds for like picking your sled is so much better in my opinion so i'll show you guys that in a second customization options but let's get down to the actual change log for right here we got a brand new map called high peaks uh this map is insane i was you i was playing on it yesterday and it's nuts a uh, big shout out to the development team as well for allowing me to play a little bit early uh for the change log also roads and trails what kind of just described hard surface driving uh, new driving stances. You can actually sit and stand now, which is huge. Uh, there's a reverse gear, physics and suspension development, snowmobile customization menu. You can now tune your sled using rocked bar pad and handle guards and C A C and A pro skis. I don't know what C and A stands for. I'm not an expert in snowmobiles, but the, I mean, I the customization of like the handlebars and the the, the hand guards pretty sick in my opinion. Uh, new wraps, new snowmobile climbing kitty i don't know what that necessarily means um someone in the comment section will let me know snow enhancement and many new places and secrets to be found so just go out and explore um and then with some minor fixes turbo sound fix while using a drone camera campfire audio bug snowmobile track was disappearing too early uh, at lower quality settings the ragdoll was sometimes at the wrong location fix issue where men, main menu was dead there's also another one and then they also say in their discord as well they fix a lot of other stuff that wasn't mentioned on the change log so i mean let's just jump right back into the game i want to show you guys a ui for a second all right so let's do change outfit first nothing really changed on this um you just still it's the same thing i mean i don't know really what you could do differently until they add a bunch of different kits um but other than that I think this looks kind of fine but the big change was the vehicles this is crazy i think this is like a lot better it's a lot cleaner so for example if you click on the lion you can actually change the track length right here instead of having like that drop down of different sleds you can change it right here you can see it kind of moving or changing in the background uh you could change the the wrap too there's different variations which i think this is huge because this allows like people to develop their own different wraps and include it into the game and i'm gonna going to assume that it's going to be in this drop down menu you know what i mean so i think that's very very huge here's the bar pads and handlebars so bar pad you can change it to a bunch of different ones let's go with like a, a light blue i mean it's kind of hard to see from here i don't know if you can like change the camera i don't think you can maybe you can i don't know you can see that it changes you can kind of see that it changes different colors here and then you got hand guards i think is freaking sick and then you can also change the skis like it said in the change log you can change it to a different type of ski here so i mean that's very cool and that's all that's with every single one also what's really cool is it shows the power and different like climbing and agility stats here which you didn't really have before so i think that's also huge i'm, I'm just figuring this out like i if you guys know the channel we're not like experts at snowmobiles i had no idea climbing kitty was a snowmobile yeah we're gonna use this one brand new What's the different variations? Oh, that looks crazy. That kind of like... Don't get me wrong. This kind of looks like G Fuel. We're going to rock it. It looks like G Fuel, like a, like a graphics from G Fuel. Uh, we'll just go stock bars, but hand guards. Let me go with the... Yeah, that, that look kind of matches. Wait, is there a red? Oh, that matches so much better. We're going to keep the black skis. All right, we're going to go with this one. All right, and then now we're going to go to the brand new map, High Peaks. Yeah, first thing I really noticed was the mountains on the brand new map. Dude, those mountains are insane. Uh, like I mentioned, I was playing it a little bit yesterday because I'm recording this the same day. And 
it wasn't too hard actually to get on top of the mountains uh maybe we'll do a video on that uh but right now i kind of want to just explore this and i didn't know this when i first hopped on this yesterday but the trail is right behind you guys on the brand new map so it's right here and i had okay i just completely messed that up uh okay yep okay don't don't judge me okay oh my god it's so hard to dude i am so bad i want to get to this that's my goal i want to get to the water uh you can kind of see i made some points here but i want to see if this trail takes me all the way to the lake over here uh the lake is crazy dude this like i said in like previous videos for sledders the maps are insanely huge bro it took me like 30 minutes not 30 minutes but it took me like 20 minutes just to get all the way to the lake yesterday it's insane it's honestly like super super insane but with the trail you're obviously going to get get over there a little bit quicker if you don't mess it up you can kind of see that like it almost feels like you're like floating or sliding to me it feels like you're just kind of like floating so maybe they gotta still fine tune that i don't really know how it feels like irl uh if you guys watch any other previous uh slutter videos i mean i've never been on a snowmobile in my life you know what i mean but like it just for me from like this pov it kind of feels like i'm just like floating on the on the on the trail i could be completely wrong oh my i didn't mean to do that get back on the trail there's also like a bunch of secrets uh like secret spots like i mentioned in the change log i want to get to it i've seen a couple of people already post photos in the discord and like there's like a cabin that you can get to i don't even know where that's at uh definitely maybe like in a video to explore the map a little bit and try to find that cabin i feel like maybe another video where you can go to like all these different mountains try to get to the tippity top especially on this new map high peaks dude the mountains are insane like the one mountain on the very like the very like when you first look at it when you jump into the map it's nuts and if you look at the mini map too bro this mountain goes all the way like it starts here it goes all the way up like obviously that's like the low point on the other side but it's it's nuts dude oh i'm just going backwards oh here is the the reverse too i mean it, it seems pretty good to me i mean i don't know all right this trail is taking us way outside of where we want to go oh crap but i'm hoping that this trail wraps back around I'm hoping that this trail wraps back around to the water. I don't know if it does, though. It definitely doesn't. I'm kind of... That was not... R.I.P. R.I.P. Right, we're going to go the other way and see if I can uh, go all the way around the mountain. It's going to be a bit of a time. I'm going to meet you guys at the lake. Oh. Yo, this, this trail is actually pretty freaking sick. That's a nice little jump. That was actually pretty freaking sick. I feel like if you had Snowcross in this game, like it already kind of does have Snowcross on the other map. But if it was a more of like a hard pack Snowcross, I think it would be a little bit better. Maybe a little bit, a little bit more fluffier than this because this is just kind of like you're just sliding everywhere. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I think with this like hard pace or hard pack, excuse me, and then including like Snowcross jumps, I think it would be a a lot of fun we should honestly have like a race between all of like all of our friends or even like a multiplayer lobby and just a race from start to finish on the trails it's actually a lot harder than people think because of the sliding i mean probably people will get this down in no time honestly but like first like learning it it's pretty difficult you're just sliding everywhere and sometimes that can happen you know what i mean just random crashes i honestly feel like adding the trails is definitely going to be helpful for like the beginner type playing this game and like just trying to explore the map in a different way than just going around like in the deep snow i think this is going to help them a lot i mentioned this in uh, another post too or another video i should say is they should put icons on the map man i really do believe that so you can explore all the way into that icon obviously you don't need to put like an icon for like the secret spots but like say for example like there's jumps and stuff i would definitely put like an icon over there i think it would just be beneficial to the player base kind of see because like you can't just automatically go there right so you still got to explore to get there but um yeah just my opinion no way that this so i'm at the edge of the map i'm at the edge of the map no way this trail doesn't go all the way around there's no way 
there's just no way this this thing doesn't go to the water. Um, that sucks. Okay, well, I just uh, spent six minutes of my time. No, like, ten minutes of my time trying to use this trail all the way around the map. Just to get to the lake over here. And that was not the play. Um, that was not the play at all. We're just going full speed until I crash. There's a tree there. Don't die. Okay, th hey, this is like pretty flat, so we should be fine, at least for a bit, until we get into all these trees, and you know damn well we're gonna hit a tree. Yeah, you know damn well that was happening. All right, finally, we got water. Double down it. That's a tree. Um, but here we go. Look at how big this lake is, bro. This thing is insane. And then you got like the the mountains in the background like look at how big that mountain is bro they did an incredible job on the map they've done an incredible job on like all maps you know with how the scaling and everything we can't let off we can't let off otherwise we sink i gotta turn i gotta rotate i'm going full speed at 80 miles per hour and i feel like the lake's never ending i mean it is but it feels like that Got a mountain in the background over there. I don't even think you can get to that mountain, though. Dude, this thing goes on forever. I swear. It's insane how big this map actually is. Uh, yeah, this map is insane. You guys gotta try to get to the lake. Try to find all the secret spots. Oh, I almost... I almost just drowned. Um, yeah, don't do that. Because then you have to, like, spawn back. Uh, but yeah. I would definitely recommend... I just found a jump. I just found a campfire. I didn't even know that was there. Um, that's actually pretty sick. But yeah, I would recommend testing out the new update. Let me know what you guys thought, think about it in the comment section below. Um, yeah, the team, I think, did a pretty good job, honestly. They added a bunch of new features, a new map, uh, different UI for like the sleds and stuff. So I think they're heading in the right direction. I would love to have some icons on the map just to see where we're going. You know what I mean? I would like that, but that's just me. Uh, but let me know if you guys... Uh, enjoy the new update. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button as well. And we'll be back with a brand new video tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.